Do you enjoy reading? Well, I do, and if you're a fan of reading, even somewhat, and you're a fan of World of Warcraft, then this video might just be for you. You see, a long time ago, back in the days of the Ancients, when I was a filthy roleplayer trapped within the eternal agony that is World of Warcraft, I was very much into the lore. I read all of the quests, I edited pages on WoW Wiki, yeah, I was that guy, and I even was reading all of the books. Anything that I could get my hands on that was WoW lore related, I jumped on it. Nowadays, however, I'm not as big of a fan of the story as I used to be, but I still appreciate many of the books that I had the pleasure of reading. And so today, I would like to share with you all my top five favorite World of Warcraft books. Number five, Storm Rage. Why Storm Rage, you might be wondering? Well, fucking Malfurion. No, but seriously, I've always been a big fan of the druid lore within World of Warcraft, as I spend a lot of time in the outdoors in real life, playing music and hiking and camping alone in the wilderness. I think it's a lot of fun, so as you can imagine, any book all about druids is right in my territory of interest. Stormrage is one such book that details the events of the Emerald Nightmare leaking into Azeroth, and Malfurion and friends' effort to drive back the Nightmare Lord and his evil minions that are corrupting everybody. Now, there are some dull parts of this book, of course, and Malfurion does become the ultimate Mary Sue at the end, which is completely fine because fucking Malfurion is fucking awesome. I guess the big downside of this book, though, is that everything in it was totally retconned and thrown out the window from this story and used in Legion instead. Now, no spoilers, but I'm not kidding when I say that so much in this book was completely thrown out the window, aside from just a few things, like the fact that Malfurion comes back from the Emerald Dream, Fandral ends up being a traitor, and Malfurion and Taronda get married. Now, is it still worth reading, though? I think so. Number four, The War of the Ancients, Book One, The Well of Eternity. I would say read all three of the War of the Ancients books, which I do highly recommend, but if I had to narrow down my favorite of the trilogy, it would have to be the first book, The Well of Eternity. Now, the reason being is that I very much enjoyed the concept of Ronan and his friends kind of you know, they go back in time and they experience the old world of Azeroth as it was long before the Sundering. You get to meet young Illidan and he's just a big whining bitch. Nothing really too different from how he is today. You get to meet young Taronda Whisperwind and she's this beautiful priestess of Elun. And then you get to meet young fucking Malfurion and learn about how he became a druid under Cenarius. This book is also really special to me because it was one of the first WoW books I ever read, so it really helped get me into the lore, as well as made me a fan of the Night Elves overall. Their formerly highborn culture and how it was destroyed by their reckless use of magic, only to have it replaced with a more feral and druidic culture dedicated to worshipping the ancients and stuff. I like it. I highly recommend this book because it really establishes the Azeroth we know and love and play in today, and most importantly, Legion is the current expansion, and in this book, you get to see the Legion in all their horrific glory, and I like that. Number three, Lord of the Clans. Now don't worry, the entire list isn't gonna be all about Night Elves and fucking Malfurion, even if it would be better if it was, but anyway. Lord of the Clans is the story of Thrall and how he liberates his people from their internment camps and builds the horde that we are familiar with today. It details his life as an orc, how he was a slave, a gladiator, how he ultimately frees himself, and the destiny that unfolds in front of him. This book has always been one of my favorites because Thrall wasn't raised by orcs, but instead by humans. So what does that mean when Thrall finally does meet orcs for the first time? Sure, he's heard stories about their shamanistic past, their bloodthirstiness, and so forth, but that doesn't mean he's prepared for when he comes face to face with his own people for the very first time. This book is all about the complexity of Thrall as a character, and his place caught between the world he was raised in and the world he's supposed to be a part of. He's more human than Orc, really, and he needs to learn what the Horde truly is, learn shamanism from Drek'thar, meet a bunch of friends that will guide him on the way. Just a bunch of stuff happens in this book. 
It's a great story, and it made Thrall one of my favorite characters in the lore. That is, until he totally cheated against Garrosh like a big pussy and killed him, even though he didn't do anything wrong. Number 2. Arthas, Rise of the Lich King. The hype for Wrath of the Lich King. It was incredible. It was incredible. I had just played through Warcraft 3 during BC for the first time, and Arthas and the Scourge were just so damned cool for me. So there I was, eagerly awaiting the release of the expansion. It comes out, it's awesome, I'm loving it, and here comes this motherfucking book onto the shelves. A book all about my favorite lore character, and naturally, I had to pick it up. Rise of the Lich King is a book that explores the story of Arthas further, his childhood, his hopes and his dreams, his incredibly kinky, BDSM-filled relationship with Jaina Proudmoore, and ultimately, his fall to darkness and evil. It's a pretty simple to read book, and it stretches itself out over many periods of time in Warcraft's lore, but I still really enjoy it, although it may just be because of my undying love for the Lich King. Anyway, one of my favorite parts of this book is actually the very beginning, with the little Tuskars dancing within their huts, waiting out a terrible winter storm that has been produced from the mind of the sleeping Lich King. I always thought that intro was so cool. The idea that the Lich King can cause a storm of ice and snow across all of Northrend just from his own thoughts and dreams. It really illustrated just how powerful the Lich King was, and it painted a beautiful image of the freezing North in my mind. So if you're a fan of the Lich King, I recommend you pick up this book and give it a read. You'll like it. And number one. Rise of the Horde. Rise of the Horde is my favorite World of Warcraft book, written by my favorite World of Warcraft author, Christy Golden. And why? Well, mostly because I think this book really contains the spirit of World of Warcraft and what it is. It's a story about the orcs, how they were deceived by Kil Jaden, who used Ner'zhul and Gul'dan as puppets in his grand plan, how they were corrupted by the blood of Manoroth, and how they waged this genocidal war against the Draenei, slaughtering their kind almost to the point of completely wiping them out. And for a World of Warcraft book, it's also a pretty heavy book, which I enjoy. A lot of things in this book are implied in the story, but they're not really directly said. To give you an example, you know, what happens when a bunch of bloodthirsty orcs come across, you know, a bunch of huddled women and children crying in a corner? Yeah. Rise of the Horde isn't all about war, though, but it also focuses on the life of Duratan and the hard choices that he has to make to protect his people from the corruption that they're facing. It explores his character and the risks that he had to take in order to survive on the dying world of Draenor, and I loved that. After reading this book, Duratan became one of my favorite characters in the lore, so it was a real pleasure to see him on the big screen in the Warcraft movie. To wrap up, this book right here, Rise of the Horde, this is the book that I would recommend to anybody who wants to get into WoW lore and they don't know what to read first. So if you're interested, I say go pick up this book and see what you think. All right, guys, so those are my five favorite World of Warcraft books, with Rise of the Horde being number one. But what is your favorite Warcraft book, if you've read them? And if you haven't read them, is there any book in particular that interests you the most, or maybe even a story that you wish Blizzard would tell through a novel, but they just haven't yet? Because I've got some ideas there. Maybe I'll make a video on it in the future. We'll see. Leave a comment below with your thoughts, and if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more dumb WoW videos, gaming videos, machinimas, all that crap from me, please consider supporting the channel over on Patreon by clicking the link in either the description or on the screen. Thank you guys very much in advance. I will see you all very soon. I'm gonna go pet my puppies now, so I guess I'll see ya.